and buy this one. Buy this one. Come on, come on. This this uh, switch we will give you is to control the whole processing for the block uh, production. That means you touch this. One. Very good. It's because of the, our machine, the pressure, the compactor, compaction pressure is uh, is good enough. That's why you see the beautiful, very beautiful. He. Bricks very beautiful. Look at, look at, and please have a look at this side surface of the, the the the, the side surface. It's 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 it looks like a ceramic, right? Look at this one, ceramic. And from the the bottom location, you have a look at bottom location. Also very beautiful. Also very beautiful. Uh, this one is very big size, very big size. Interlocking, right? Interlocking. This brick size is very huge. Afterwards, I will show you how big, how big these bricks are. This size should be uh, 355. 355. But the width is the width is big. The width is uh, oh, 25. Right? 200, 250. 250. Yes. The heat is. Uh, one one hundred and sixteen is too huge. Okay, okay, is too is too huge. But actually speaking, we we don't normally we don't suggest you to 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 make so big size because it's very heavy. The blocks is too heavy for you to carry. And also, the while you use uh, the blocks uh, to build a wall, it also will be cost you too much labor to lift up. To lift up the blocks with your armors. So huge. Mm.
，让他一直拿着，我也进行讲解。我讲解讲解这个视频啊。And compared with the, the previous models of the block machine, this model is our improved model. It's our improved model. We based on the previous uh, the common design of the semi-automatic block machine of the soil interlocking brick machine. Now you can see we equipped with the sensors on the on the motor oil area. That means uh, with the sensor, this this part approaching this sensor location. That means it will be lift up mode to be here. To lift up. And also to to the to the to the lowest uh, the bottom lowest uh, location, uh, lowest location. That means uh, the mode the mode box area, a uh, mode box space is um, is a maximum, so that it can feel feel the 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 soil material inside the mode box. And by this one, by this one, turn over, turn over. This this uh, switch we will give you. Is to control the whole processing for the block uh, production. That means you touch this one, you touch touch this one. The block machine will be, you know, will be work uh, automatically. Come this. Um. Now I want to mainly introduce this part. This one is our control cabinets with all of the electronic electrical elements inside, and also it contains the PLC. And also the diagram on the system we have already set inside. We have already set inside. So before we deliver it out our machine, we will set all of the parameter the parameters inside. Uh, Uh, we will this one is the PLC the PLC and that means our technician we also uh, have already um, set all of the programs inside of the PLC what you only need to do is you will connect uh, this cable this cable a uh, three phase cable uh, to the three location, connect it. That's all. All of the here, the ones for the sensors is already has already connected well. I even in case some ones is drop down, uh, suddenly or accidentally, you can follow this. You can follow the diagrams for the power and the sensors description diagrams. You can connect the one. Oh. This one is the switch, right? It's switch on or switch off. So, equipped with this control cabinet, everything will be uh, uh, programmed automatically. With uh, these waves, the waves will be get signal, will be get received signal from this box, right? And over there is uh, the pressure meter. Here is the pressure pressure showing the uh, display display the meter. Will show you is immediately. How much the pressure the machine will give the blocks? Mm. And this one we equipped with three hydraulic cylinder. This one is for the head mail, head mode. We are press press down the head head mode. And uh, the second one is for the the material cut fitting a hydraulic cylinder to forward and backward. Okay. This one switch, switch. From my video, you will understand how to use it. It's very easy, very easy. And uh, look here with the tires, with this tire, uh, this machine can be can be moved from the one side to another side for production. That means uh, if you would like to use a machine to uh, at this uh, first uh, place for the production, maybe next month. Or uh, you plan to move the machine to be another production site with this tire. With the tires, is more is more is more easier to be to be to be to be to be moved by the vehicle. 
So, my friends, if you would like to get an uh, automatic uh, brake machine and also with a lower price, this particular block machine is your best choice because uh, you know it's based on a semi automatic. We improved, we improved this machine to be a fully automatic. It's very nice and also the price is very beautiful, very beautiful. Okay. If you have any different ideas, uh, welcome you to leave any comments on my videos. And see you next time. Bye bye. Mm. See you next time.